Hi guys, how's it going? Fred here from AF Math and Engineering. Uh, we're going to tackle another problem right now. And that problem is going to be a torsion problem, but we're gonna add a power factor into it. Now, power is, uh, if, if you just take a look down here at this equation, I mean, power is, it's, it's, it's not too complicated. It's just a different unit, okay? The power that we're gonna be working with is uh, in horsepower. Like if you think of horsepower in a car, uh, it's just another way of measuring torque, okay? And it's not, not really very difficult. It's, it's just another formula, okay? So don't get too concerned with that. Now, if you're looking at this video and you haven't done the other videos previous to it, you haven't done the simple torque diagram, you haven't done, you know, the, the way the torque moves uh, throughout the gears and the transferring of it, this isn't the video for you. Uh, go back and, and, and practice a little more, go over the videos and really just familiarize yourself with these concepts because you can watch this video 20 times, but if you don't understand how the torque moves throughout the gear systems, uh, when the teacher changes a little thing in the test, you're gonna get it wrong, okay? So just make sure that you have those basics down before we start, okay? So like I said, link on the video. If you're not at this point yet, go back and you know try and uh, familiarize yourself with that. For everyone else, let's begin. Okay, so this question asks us to find the minimum diameter, the minimum permissible diameter for the motor shaft, okay? Uh, what does that mean? So the motor shaft is, is, is just essentially the shaft that's connected to the motor, okay? Just as explained, very simple, and it's this shaft here, okay? So, given in the question is uh, the power being transmitted by the motor to the shaft, okay? And that, that horsepower is 100. I've written it here, okay? That's given in the question, and like we discussed before, we're going to assume a positive direction for the power that's being transmitted by the motor, okay? Simple. So that's going to look something like this. Okay, that's the 100 horsepower. Also given in the question, uh, we're given the speed, okay? And the, the speed is always, almost always given in RPMs, or revolutions per minute, okay? This equation here, don't convert revolutions per minute to, to seconds or anything, leave it as RPM. This equation here uses RPM units as N, okay? N is speed in this equation, and it's 360 RPM. Don't convert that, okay? Because you'll get the question wrong, leave it as RPM. All right, that's just a little hint for you there. Let's begin, okay? So, where do we start? Right now, we need to understand, or we need to solve for the torque in this shaft. That's the first order of business using this equation, okay? Once we have the torque, we can go on to find the diameter, but let's start with that. So we have our power here, and our power is given as 100 horsepower, okay? So we'll start with that. Now, we need to convert horsepower, okay, to torque, all right? So that we can use it in our tau formula, Tc over J, to solve for the diameter, okay? Because that equation is going to be using those units. So, there's a very simple conversion, 100 horsepower, so one horsepower is equal to 550 pound-feet per second, okay? 550 pound-feet per second, okay? That's going to be the conversion for us to change that into torque value of pound-feet per second from horsepower to that. Let's keep going. Really, it's not that difficult this part, it's just plugging into the formula. Just make sure that you're putting things in your calculator correctly. Okay, T is unknown, that's what we're solving for, right? We're solving for the torque in the shaft over 60, and just honestly isolate for T, super simple. What we're gonna end up with is, one thousand four hundred and you know what, let's convert that to pound inches because we're gonna be dealing with inches. Just multiply this by 12. Draw a little arrow there for you. Okay, 17,507 pound inches is the torque or the T value developed in this section of the shaft from the motor. Okay, nice and simple. Now. We want to solve for the minimum permissible diameter, right? So 
in order for that to happen, the question needs to give us an allowable stress or a maximum allowable stress that the shaft can withstand. Okay, and then the diameter that we solve for using that value is going to be the minimum diameter. All right, that's a very, very popular question in this kind of, kind of uh, topic here, okay? And that's, that's a potential exam question, so look out for that. And we are given that. We're given 12 kips per square inch, okay, as our tau allowable. So let's use that, all right? And let's move over to our TC over GA. We, we like using this equation. And let's just plug in the values that we have, okay? So we're gonna plug in the 12 KSI, okay? What's our T? I mean, we have that here, right? And now let's take a look at the units. Okay, guys, units are extremely important in this section. Right away, we see that this is in pound inches, okay? And our tau is given in kip square inches, okay? Kip, one kip is a thousand pounds. So we either need to convert 12 to pounds or we need to convert this to kips. And we'll just convert that to kips because it's easy. So it's going to be 17,509 divided by 1,000, okay? And that's going to give us 17.509, sorry, 507 kip inches, okay? What's our C? Oh, that's a good question. We don't know, right? That's what we're solving for. We want to find the minimum diameter. So we're going to, and since C is the radius, okay, the radius is the diameter divided by two. So we can solve for that directly. Okay. And what's our J? Let's write our J in terms of D, okay? Not R, because we're solving for D. Pi, what's the formula for J? We already know that. It's D to the fourth over 32. Okay. Now, all we need to do in this equation is solve for D, all right? And I, I, I'm just gonna let you guys do that. That's good practice for you. You don't wanna see me write out each step of this. I'll just show you what the D value is. If you wanna pause at this point and try and solve this on your own, that's perfectly acceptable. But I'm just going to write the answer for D for you just so you can pause and try and do it on your own. So solving for D in this equation here, we get 1.951 inches, which is the minimal permissible, minimum permissible diameter for the section from the motor to gear A.